This is a little screw. This is not. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. This last week has been a blast of a week. I mean, just a, a lot of things going on in here. Um, but first let's talk about some of the videos. I did a video on making a pin without a lathe and uh, this was really kind of fun. I wanted to make a pin um, and I didn't have a lathe, so I'm gonna use a plane. But that gave me the great um, chance to actually create a six-sided pin, which I thought at first it would be very uncomfortable. Um, but really, uh, because you have three fingers that touch it, it is very comfortable, and uh, they touch every other side of it. And if you didn't get a chance to uh, see the video, I'll leave a link to that in the cards. The other video this week was restoring this uh, Stanley Everlasting Chisel. Uh, it was a fairly simple video and very quick. Um, comparison to most of my videos, but uh, I really love this thing and it has been a blast to use. So you'll see me using it uh, quite a bit. And uh, hmm, I think I have a new favorite tool. Other things that have been going on in the shop, uh, Rob Appleman from uh, Rob's Wood Shop sent me a pair of clogs. Uh, a lot of you have seen me wearing my sandals in the shop and uh, there's a whole lot of safety people out there who are really concerned about wearing sandals underneath the bench. And for a long time, I've been wanting to make a pair of clogs to wear in here. Uh, so he sent me these uh, from the Netherlands and I am in love with them. They fit great. Um, I'm gonna do a few modifications to make them fit my foot exactly. And uh, these will become my new shop shoes. So I'll be doing a video on modifying these and uh, you'll probably see me wearing these in uh, uh, in the shop quite a bit. Now uh, he also sent me um, three of these little shoes to be turned into clog boats with the kids. So I'll probably be doing a video on uh, making clog boats, which is kind of cool. So apparently something in Holland. Also in the mail, Brian from Bearcat Wood who makes this absolutely gorgeous saw. Uh, one of my favorite tools in the shop. Um, love that thing. But he sent me uh, this book uh, by Hand and Eye. Um, it is actually a uh, Lost Art Press book, and I am really looking forward to digging into this thing. Um, it's one I have I've read a little bit on. There was a copy of it at my library, but I haven't had a chance to actually um, have it in my hands. So thank you so much for that. I'm really looking forward to digging into that one. Then another project coming up, um, one of my leg vices, the screw has stripped out because the nut was actually made of lead. Um, and I put a little too much torque on it and it stripped the threads right out of it. So I've been wanting to rebuild a, uh, a new screw for this. And I was thinking about making my own wooden screw for it. But then I was at WIA and I saw Acer Ferros um, uh, Toolworks. He actually makes these. Um, and he does them on a lathe with a uh, with a, a screw cutter, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, solid hard maple, beautiful, beautifully done. Normally you would see a lot of little chip out that would be caused from um, cutting the threads, but these are, are perfect, absolutely perfect. And it comes with this uh, wooden nut on here, uh, so it has everything you need to uh, make your own leg vise. And so I'm going to be doing a leg vise and uh, putting this sucker into it. And I am so thankful that I found uh, his work and uh, I, <laughs> happy purchase. I, uh, I like this thing, so looking forward to playing with that video. This next week, I'm gonna be doing a video on boiled linseed oil. A while ago, I did a video on how I use boiled linseed oil and a paste wax finish, and it seems to have gone over fairly well. Um, so I want to do a follow-up video because I've had a lot of questions about um, how it's made, what it is out of, and uh, safety precautions um, to be careful of with uh, boiled linseed oil. So that will probably be a video coming out Thursday. The Saturday video, I'm not exactly sure what it will be. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, a project that I'm working on that I might have that done in time for it, um, but I may end up uh, releasing a video on uh, making a spoke shave. Uh, so I'm not quite sure which one uh, will be coming out for that. But uh, yeah, if you uh, want to weigh in on that, let me know. But the big thing this week is I'll be probably hitting 10,000 subscribers sometime in this week, in the next uh, 
for maybe five days or so. And when that happens, I'm going to release a video that will tell you how you can win one of the prizes that I've listed. And holy cow, I'm looking forward to it. There are a lot of great prizes, um, almost $1,000 worth of prizes being given away in this. And so when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to uh, release that video and uh, you can enter the drawing to win one of them. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who's watching. Um, <laughs> this has been blowing me away. It's been uh, just a little over a year and 10,000 subscribers is incredible. So thank you for that. This week's Patreon question comes from Bryce Royal. And uh, he asks, have you ever thought of making a saw bench? Uh, this is a, a small bench that you can easily kneel on and cut horizontally as opposed to cutting vertically like I do on the bench. And yes, I would love to make one. Um, I have thought about it many times. The problem is in this shop, I have no place to put it, no place to store it. And I am already running out of room of anything else. Uh, when I finish the dresser, I'm thinking about leaving that space open and putting a bench there. The dresser is kind of encroaching on my wife's area of laundry being done over there. Um, but as long as the dresser stays there, it kind of becomes a shop area. So I might be able to turn that into uh, breaking lumber down and making a saw bench for that. So yes, that is in my list. I do want to make one. Um, it is kind of a pain to cut things vertically. It's not ergonomically perfect. And uh, I would like to change that. So um, yes, I've thought about that and I want to build one. But uh, for now, I'm going to be working with what I have. I don't let and not having a tool hinder me from creating something. So yes, I'm doing things in what might be a little more difficult manner, uh, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So this week's shout out goes to Rob Appleman, uh, Rob's wood shop, and uh, he's the guy who sent me these shoes from the Netherlands. And uh, I love what you've been doing and I've been following him for uh, quite a while, actually probably for about a year now. Um, he does some really, really sweet things in his shop. He's currently working on a, a bench that goes on the bench um, to raise up work or for travel work. Um, really kind of a cool project. He's doing a lot of other things and uh, always has some neat ideas. So definitely go check out his channel. I'll leave a link to him in the description below. Also, as a quick last note, Daniel, who I've mentioned here quite a few times, has a really cool hand tool shop. Uh, he just released a wacky video um, congratulating me for 10,000 subscribers that was sponsored by um, Alan from the Woodworking Junkie. And it was really kind of a fun video, and so I thought I would uh, post a link to that in the description below. Feel free to go check, take a look at it and, and laugh. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty funny, so yeah. That's about it for this week. I'm having a blast here in the shop and I'm really looking forward to 10,000 subscribers. Should be sometime this week. So keep an eye out for that video and when it comes out, um, you can enter for a chance to win one of the $1,000 worth of prizes. And I am looking forward to shipping those out. If you like this video, please hit like and think about subscribing. I do wanna say a huge, huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are one of the main reasons this train keeps rolling. If you want to find out more about that, you can click the link over here. If you like the video, you might like one of the other others. And until next time, have a wonderful day.